hello students welcome or welcome back to being passionate learner in this video i am going to discuss iterative deepening depth first search algorithm in artificial intelligence these are the contents of the video i'll start with what is iterative deepening depth first search algorithm then how does it works its example and then analysis of the algorithm if you are interested in any particular content from this video then you can directly jump to it time stamps are mentioned in the description you can join my whatsapp channel for more updates its link is also mentioned in the description now let us start with what is iterative deepening depth first search algorithm iterative deepening depth first search is an uninformed search algorithm it is also known as iterative deepening search it is used in combination with depth first search that finds the best depth limit it does this by gradually increasing the limit first starts with 0 then 1 then 2 and so on until a goal is found in general iterative deepening is a preferred and informed search method when the search space is very large and the depth of the solution is not known Now let us see how does it works. First, do DFS on depth level zero. Treat start node as having no successes. If no solution found or no goal state found, do DFS to depth level one and so on. In short, until solution found, do DFS with the depth limit L and then increase value of L by one. To understand working of the algorithm, consider tree shown on the slide. In first iteration, def limit L is a zero. Algorithm starts with initial node and consider it has no successes. If it is not a goal state, increase value of L by one and second iteration will start. In second iteration, def limit L will be one and nodes will be explored in this sequence. If goal node found. algorithm will terminate here if goal node not found then depth limit will be increased by 1 in third iteration depth limit is 2 and nodes will be explored in this sequence if goal node found then algorithm will terminate here if goal node not found then depth limit will be increased by 1 in the fourth iteration l will be 3 and the nodes will be explored in this sequence if goal node found then algorithm will terminate here if goal node not found then l will be increased by 1 in fifth iteration l will be 4 and nodes will be explored in this sequence if goal node found algorithm will terminate here if goal node not found then l will be increased by 1 now each node of the tree is explored and therefore the algorithm will stop searching here now let us see one example to get more clarity consider a tree shown on the slide represent a search space of a problem initial state or a start state is a and goal states are g j and m algorithm will start with l is equals to 0 node a will be visited as l is 0 it will be considered that a has no successes a is not a goal state or goal node so next iteration will start in second iteration l is equals to 1 so tree will be explored till level 1 in this sequence first a will be expanded it has two successors b and c 
B will be visited and then C will be visited. Gold state is not found in this iteration. So next iteration will start. In third iteration, L is equals to 2. So tree will be explored till level 2 in this sequence. First node A, then node B and then node D will be visited. It is considered that D has no successes, then E will be visited. Then node C will be visited, then F will be visited and it is considered that F has no successors as it is at level 2. Then G will be visited. G is a goal state. So algorithm has searched goal state successfully. So algorithm will terminate here. Carefully observe that there are three goal states G, J and M. The algorithm has reached to a goal state or goal node which is at shallowest level that is goal G at level 2. It is one advantage of iterative deepening DFS. It guarantee for goal node of minimal path. Let us see analysis of the algorithm. The algorithm iterative deepening DFS is complete if branching factor B is finite. Time complexity of the algorithm is order of b to the power d. Space complexity of iterative deepening DFS is order of b multiplied by d. Iterative deepening DFS is optimal if step cost are identical. With this we will end our video. Thank you for watching this video till end. Next video will be uploaded soon. Till then being passionate learner keep learning. Thank you.